We played. So when we first started playing, like acoustically, you know, we were playing. You know, that's a, I remember it was uh, Joe Eddie Hines on acoustic guitar, Brian Stanford, David Perales on cello and violin, and myself. And we played the same old joints we always played, you know, the punk rock clubs and the rock and roll clubs and stuff. And we played this one in Tampa Bay, Florida. And it was an interesting, it was a punk rock club, filthy. And we decided we didn't want, it was so filthy, we didn't want to get on the stage and use those microphones. You know? So we decided that we'd just kind of get in a circle in the middle of the room and everyone sat around us and played acoustically. You know? So everything was going well uh, yeah. until the promoter, who was this young lady, fell in love with the violin player, right? So she follows us to the party after the gig, and we're there. We used to play all night long, you know? And we're probably doing Wild Horses or Sway or something, you know? <laughs> something beautiful, poignant. And, uh, <laughs> and suddenly there's a, uh, a weird arrhythmic sound. No, that's not a good demonstration. But it, was, it, was, it, was, it was irritating, you know. Suddenly it's like, well, what is that? You know. And it was this woman, and she had a, a pair of castanets, you know, that she was trying to play along with us, but she had no sense of rhythm whatsoever. You, know? you couldn't have emailed her the one. She would have never gotten it. So the really just. Arming thing about this young lady is that she looks just like Keith Richards, right? And she doesn't look like Keith Richards like in 1972, you know, beautiful, wasted Keith Richards. Uh, it's more like 87, you know, the, the mall boots have come out, you know, and all that stuff. So anyway, so that made it even worse. And, uh, and so I wrote this song here and it goes, I like her better when she walks away. And that's of course... Get active a little bit. <laughs>